Alright guys, I am extremely excited. I have been wanting call ducks for years. I finally got hatching eggs. Um, I got on a Facebook group called uh, Backyard Yard Call Ducks and I made contact with a, a, somebody that breeds them here in Florida and I got some eggs from Sunny. Now she has mixed call ducks. Um, so I'm excited. I believe these are more pet quality than show quality, although I, I looked at some of the pictures of hers and I don't really know that much. They look show, some of them look show quality to me. I'm not really interested in showing them. I just want to have call ducks. I love those little guys. So we're going to put these in the incubator here. Uh, I, what I did is I traded her a bunch of plants for call duck eggs. And they're all marked on when she collected them. So these, these ones here that I'm putting in first are a little older. They were collected from like last week and this one is all fresh this week. So we always put them down tip first. I don't put them right next to the motor. And I like to give them a little bit of room. You have how many? Two dozen. I actually traded, uh, I think it was six or seven of my starts of the uh, yellow dragon fruit and let's see what I do passion fruit couple passion mm -hmm. fruit like three different passion fruit and um, uh, red passion fruit the motor just came on <laughs> yeah the fans a little rusty sometimes it's loud you know what, let me put these in here. You, yeah, because you I gotta got save another, room for it, yeah. And we gotta have room for that one. Wait a minute, I thought this was the duck. Oh yeah, this is the duck. I'm grabbing for the chicken eggs. <laughs> she also gave me some ducal, du they're a bantam chicken. They're really cool chicken. And uh, I'll get Amy to put a little picture of what they are yeah, and how they're spelled. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, it's like a French word, I guess. It's yeah. French, like Flor Min Dula or Dusal. I, I have no clue. Really cool name. Really beautiful little bantam chickens. So we're excited about that too. All right, put so these in close here. We'll put these in and they take what, 20, roughly 20, 26 days. 26 days. So that puts it on April 4th. Day, the same day we got to do all those meat birds. <laughs> <laughs> now, do these have to be at a higher temperature? Now, these, this is a uh, a fan incubator. It has move. It's a moving air incubator, so it's set at ninety um, ninety nine point five. Okay. And this is set at one hundred one, roughly one hundred one point five. And this is where we're putting the the chicken eggs, the, the fancy named ones. Ducal, ducal. We'll take. You might want to take the lid off. I really of should have learned. I, yeah, I really should have learned how to say that. <laughs> they do have feathered feet, but not really heavy feathered like the uh, like silkies. Silkies. But they're feathered, kind of like a cochin. Because yeah. I have a little cochin. 
Look how tiny these little chicken eggs are. That's about the size of Miss Cochin yeah. when she lays her little eggs. And they're like little cream colored eggs. It's well, three it's four. Not. That's that's probably the. Well, I mean that's a day, but I wonder what G, one GN means. Where do you see one GN? Right here. Oh, I don't there's know. There's one there, and there's one right there. Maybe that's the chicken that she got. Maybe, yeah. Might have to ask her. Yeah, because she wrote like B T B M F and B M T. And then there's BMP over here. Well, keep it over on that side. No, you would have it on the eggs. Oh, okay. So that you can see what the temperature, see how I let the, that way you can make sure the temperature is right on the eggs themselves. Yeah. So. Alrighty. And we've got plenty of water in there. Yeah. Humidity's good. Humidity's good. Everything is good on these guys. All right, here comes hatching season. I am so excited. I know you are. You've been wanting cold dogs for a long time so now. So this video is going to take us a while to do because we're not just going to release this with a regular video. We're going to candle these guys and show you how they're coming along. Two weeks later. All right, we have been incubating these eggs for two weeks now and uh, we're going to candle them and see which ones are fertile which ones look like they're still active and see what we got these here all are the call duck eggs and we're going to start right here with these right here Take the thermometer out real quick. There you go. I'll turn off the light. You got the flashlight? Turn it on the second setting. This one is definitely yep. active. You see them moving on that? Yeah. So we'll put that one back in. Saw some movement, but you can definitely see. Well, your hand keeps getting in the way. Yeah, right. Let's put it back. Yeah. Right there, I've seen some movement. So that one looks good. This one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you definitely see. <laughs> uh, there was some movement there, see? Right there. Yeah. Uh, doesn't look like this one either. Oh, you just shouting at my face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whew, I'm seeing stars. Oh, that one's a bad one. We're getting on a roll here on these bad ones. That's okay. That one mm, looks like it had started and it stopped. I yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't see no yolk set or the blood sac or anything. Yeah, we can call that one. Bad one. Bad one. Now these were older. The ones that she got, so 
they may have went bad or were too old to fertilize. She gave me this other dozen. Just the older case. dozen, yeah. Okay, that's so. Fine. Yeah, so so these look so like they were too old. So how many do we have left? Uh, we got nine. Or yeah, nine ten. All right, put this thermometer back in. We have so I'm good with that. Do we need to add water behind um, you? Yeah, let's add just a little bit of water. Water behind you. Does Foxy want to know what the Iggies are? Huh? Huh, Foxy? My little mink coat? Yes, hi. Are you going to guard? What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Yeah. My Foxy girl. So we've checked our uh, call ducks, and now we're checking our bantam duclays. Say that again? Bantam duclays. Okay. Be careful, don't set it on top of that because it's got that thing pointing up. And watch the water. Right on the water line. Glad somebody's keeping me straight. All right. What did you just get tangled? <laughs> yeah, what did I do with the... Uh... I have oh. that. Okay. But you got to move the thermometer thingy. Yes, I do. All right, you ready for lights out? Lights Come out. On. Get the get your flashlight ready. Let's start with this guy over here. Now, how many of these do we have? A dozen. She kind of gave these to me as a... This one looks like dirt. I can't see nothing but light. These eggs are so small. This is really dark. This one is quite far along. Okay, leave it in there then. Yeah. I'd rather, if it looks dark, that means there's something. This one wasn't fertile. Okay. movement right there. I don't think you're going to be able to pick it up. No, it doesn't show very well. We got two more. Yeah. That one looks pretty... Oh yeah, there's movement there. Oh, I can... There it is. <laughs> I'm excited about these little guys. And last one. That's four, five, six, so this will be number seven. Yeah. These look like they're ready to hatch any day now. Yeah, I just saw some movement, but you'll never be able to pick that up with the camera. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's... Not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because I consider anything over a dozen. We traded a some starts, plant starts, mm -hmm. um, for these eggs, and uh, I wanted the call ducks. I've been looking for call ducks eggs for a couple years now, and uh, I made a trade with this really sweet young lady, and she gave me. You gotta put the thermometer thing back. Oh in. yeah, all these extra call duck eggs, which most of them ended up. The, the ones weren't, they weren't fertile. Put it over there. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, what the heck, but she gave me these chicken eggs, these bantam chicken eggs for nothing. Now I did give her a, a bunch of uh, yellow dragon fruit, which is kind of hard to come by. Mm -hmm. the, the dragon fruit starts, but 
you know, I have a ton of them, so it was no skin off my teeth. You know, it was, I was happy that she was excited to get the dragon fruit. <laughs> so, it's a good trade. I'll be happy if I get just a, a couple chickens and, you know, a good pair of uh, call ducks out of this. I'll be thrilled. Yeah. So, I'm really excited about this. I consider this a success. Yeah, we have a few. Duds. That, you know, a few duds, but, you know. Oh no, not bad. Yeah, when you got to figure we, tr we drove all the way on the other side of Ocala to get them and, you know, to come back and, you know, they've been, I think in all in all so far it's a pretty good success.